Hello and welcome to the Thai Center video series on including students with significant cognitive disabilities in school-wide positive behavioral interventions and supports, or PBIS. I'm Dr. Lindsay Iono Conradi from the University of Hawaii. The image on this slide depicts a group of students with and without disabilities together in a school hallway, smiling at the camera. The participant outcome for this video is to increase your understanding of using the principles of Universal Design for Learning, UDL, to create and teach accessible school-wide expectations. The image on this slide depicts a group of school-age children with and without disabilities on a playground. In our Tier 1 series, we review all five components in creating a universal foundation. In this video, we will focus on components three and four, creating and teaching clear expectations that are accessible to each and every student. School Positive Behavior Intervention and Supports, PBIS teams, create a matrix that lists three to five clear expectations that can apply in all settings. In this example of a matrix, the general expectations are be ready to learn, be respectful, and be responsible. The PBIS team then defines each expectation as they apply to different settings across the school. In this example, we have three settings, hallway, recess, and cafeteria. In the matrix, each expectation is specifically targeting the pro-social behaviors that are expected in each of those settings. For example, the be respectful expectation at recess is take turns. And in the cafeteria, it is use an inside voice. After the expectations are created, the school teams teach the expectations across all settings and provide opportunities to practice these skills. Adults then increase supervision in these school areas and give high rates of praise and reinforcement. Unfortunately, research suggests that students with significant cognitive disabilities are not accessing these expectations, which may be a result of expectations not always being accessible to students with significant cognitive disabilities. In order to overcome this barrier, we need to ensure that expectations are created with all students' needs in mind and that all students are taught the expectations at their instructional level. Universal Design for Learning, UDL, is a framework that can be used to support educators as they include students with significant cognitive disabilities in the creation and teaching of expectations. Teams can do this by checking to make sure that the expectations and lessons have the components to increase accessibility for all, as outlined in this table. First, multiple means of engagement, the why of learning. Second, multiple means of representation, the what of learning. And lastly, multiple means of action and expression, the how of learning. Let's walk through an example of how we can use UDL principles to create expectations that are accessible to all students. For this example, we will revisit the PBIS matrix from slide four, and we'll use these highlighted hallway expectations that align with the general expectations of be ready to learn, be respectful, and be responsible. The hallway expectation for be ready to learn is to walk quietly to your destination. The hallway expectation for be respectful is keep hands and feet to self. The hallway expectation for be responsible are to put trash in the garbage and use a hall pass. Representation, the what of learning. When creating accessible expectations, the team should first make sure that the vocabulary is accessible to students in all grades. For example, in an elementary school, the chosen vocabulary should be appropriate for grades kindergarten to fifth. When creating expectation posters, teams should also consider the needs of emerging readers who may benefit from the addition of visual representations such as photographs or picture symbols. Teams can also create audio recordings for students who have visual impairments. 
On the screen is an example of a hallway expectations poster. I have added visual representations for each expectation to increase accessibility to all students. The general expectation of be respectful has the words keep hands and feet to self and an icon that shows a child's torso with their arms by their side, two arrows are pointing into the body on each side to reiterate the importance of keeping hands to self. The general expectation of be responsible has the words put trash in the garbage with an icon of a trash can with its lid tipped up and pieces of trash being tossed in. The expectation of be responsible has the words use hall pass and an icon of a student. Above the student is a thought bubble with a hall pass in it. Be ready to learn has the words walk quietly to your destination and an icon of a school age child walking. Once the posters are created, teams post the expectation posters in a visible area. Teams should consider the eye level of all students, including those who may use wheelchairs. Expression, the how of learning. Once accessible expectations are created, they need to be explicitly taught to all students. PBIS schools use lesson plans to teach the expectations across all environments. In order to create lessons for all, teams are encouraged to do the following. Teach expectations in a way that is understandable to each student. Using explicit instruction to teach each individual expectation can be helpful for students with significant cognitive disabilities. Teams can also create video models of all students demonstrating the expectations. Teams can also create social stories that can be used to support the instruction of the expectations. This is an adapted example of a social narrative that can be used to teach students the expectations. The social narrative describes each prosocial behavior in a short story format. In this example, the social narrative reads, being responsible in the hallway means putting your trash in the garbage can. Being responsible in the hallway means using a hall pass. The same visuals that were used in the hallway poster discussed on the previous slide, icons of a trash can and a person thinking about a hall pass, have been included in the social narrative for repetition. When teaching the expectations, teams need to provide opportunities where all means of communication are utilized. Students who may have complex communication needs should be given the opportunity to demonstrate their understanding by selecting the behavior on their alternate communication device. This means that teams need to ensure that students with significant cognitive disabilities who use alternate modes of communication have the necessary vocabulary preloaded on their device, such as an iPad or tablet. It's important for teams to allow students to engage in different types of demonstration, linguistically, to tell you verbally or using alternate communication, and behaviorally, to show you through role play or drawing. Engagement, the why of learning. It's also important to recognize that students with significant cognitive disabilities may benefit from repetition across environments, which will provide more opportunities for them to practice the new skills. Teams should also increase supervision and provide reinforcement in a variety of ways that is meaningful to the student. There's more on this in video four. School-wide, PBIS expectations should be accessible to students with significant cognitive disabilities. Here are a few action items for you to consider as you move forward in your work to include all students in PBIS. Check to see if your school expectations are accessible to all. Use UDL principles to guide the creation and teaching of those expectations. Collaborate with general and special educators to teach expectations to students with significant cognitive disabilities. Thank you for watching and don't forget to check out the other videos in this series.